Abraham admonishes his entire family. Genesis 25, 5-6, Jubilees 20, 1-13. In the first year of the seventh centennium of the 42nd Jubilee, Abraham called Ishmael and his twelve sons, Isaac and his two sons, and the six sons of Keturah and their sons. He admonished them to observe the way of the Lord, to live righteously, for everyone to love his neighbor, and to act accordingly toward all men, that every one of them would walk this way for justice and righteousness on the earth. He told them to circumcise their sons according to the covenant God had made with them, and to not deviate to the right hand or to the left of any path which the Lord had commanded them, and that they should keep themselves from all sexual immorality and uncleanliness, and to renounce these things from themselves. Abraham continued, And if any woman or virgin commits fornication among you, burn her with fire. Do not let your sons have relations with her after the lust of their lives, eyes, and heart. Do not let your sons take wives for themselves from the daughters of Canaan, because the descendants of Canaan will be rooted out of the land. And he told them about the judgment of the giants and the judgment of the sodomites, how they had been judged because of their wickedness, dying because of their sexual immorality, uncleanness, and using things to corrupt each other. He further stated, Guard yourselves from every form of sexual immorality and uncleanliness, and from all the pollution of sin. Otherwise you will make our name a curse. Your whole life will be an angry, hissing breath. Your sons will be destroyed by the sword, and you will become cursed like Sodom, and all your descendants will be like the sons of Gomorrah. I implore you, my sons, to love the Lord, to love the God of heaven, and cling to all his commandments. Don't walk after the idols of the nations, and after their uncleanness, and don't make molten or graven gods for yourselves. For they are useless, and there is no spirit in them. They are work of men's hands, and anyone who trusts in them trusts in nothing. Do not serve them or worship them. Instead, serve the Most High God, and worship Him continually. Seek His presence always, and be upright and righteous before Him, so He will have pleasure in you, and grant you His mercy, and send rain upon you morning and evening, and bless all the things you have done on the earth, and will bless your bread and your water, the fruit of your womb, the fruit of your land, the herds of your cattle, and the flocks of your sheep. This way you will be a blessing to the earth, and all nations of the earth will look on you with favor, and will bless your sons in my name, so they will be blessed as I am. Then he gave gifts to Ishmael and to his sons, as well as to the sons of Keturah, and sent them away from his son Isaac. But he left the inheritance to Isaac his son. The families of Ishmael and Keturah's sons all left together and settled from Paran to the border of Babylon, in all the land toward the east, facing the desert. They mingled with each other, and they were called Arabs and Ishmaelites. <laughs>